Welcome back guys to another one of my The Man in the High Castle videos. So it seems pretty official, the wait is going to extend a bit longer than just the majority of 2017. We'll be getting the new season of The Man in the High Castle in 2018 instead. But at the least, fans got treated to the NYCC first look of the new season, a scene with our favorite character from the series, John Smith. At the very end of that scene, we could clearly read the fine print, New Season 2018. Now that could also possibly mean that it will be released over the final few days of 2017, making it equivalent to it having a 2018 release. But the scene is actually very telling of the kind of things we should expect to see on the upcoming season of the show. Now once this video is all uploaded and online, I'll make sure to drop you a link to the scene in the pinned comment and description down below. But to make a long story short, the scene is basically all about John Smith and the Nazi doctor, where the latter explains to him the concept of interdimensional travel. The Nazis seem to have known about this for a while, which is not really surprising considering Hitler used to collect these films. They even have a name for them, they call them travelers or couriers, and are seemingly trying to understand the mechanics of this kind of travel to use it to their own benefit. So basically what we get to see there is they've got this woman who happens to be one of the travelers and they're experimenting on her to try and figure out the science of it all. Now John Smith in this scene is of course stunned at the reveal, but when it comes to his reaction to such reveal going forward and beyond that scene, all we can do for now is speculate. But I'll be circling back to set speculations in a moment here. Now at NYCC as well, Isaac Dick Hackett, Philip K. Dick's daughter and executive producer of the show stated, Philip K. Dick said 40 years ago, the enemy is fascism wherever it exists, and that will be what we dive deep into with our storytelling. I guess I just thought I'd give her statement a mention, even though I don't think it adds anything new. In my personal opinion, that's basically what we've been dealing with over the past couple of seasons. But let's start talking assumptions and speculations based on what NYCC has presented us with. Now for starters, I think the scene will be part of the season premiere and not an episode later. At the very end of the second season, John was given access to Hitler's big library of films from alternate realities. So he is pretty much his very own version of the man in the high castle, something that I'm going to try and discuss on an upcoming theory video. Now based on the scene and the fact that logically such research would only be done in Germany to sort of keep it under wraps and to entrust it to Nazi doctors only, I'd assume John at this point haven't made it out of Germany and back to New York yet. That could possibly indicate that he's got no idea of what has become of his son Thomas. It could as well indicate that he hasn't had enough time yet to react to the library of films revealed to him as of recently. So with John, we've got multiple factors at play here. Number 1. He's climbing up the ranks of the Nazi Empire as he's going to be trusted with more than just being some sort of Nazi enforcer back in New York. He's gonna be given access to what are probably considered top secrets. Number 2. His son is pretty much screwed and he probably won't be happy about it once he finds out. Number 3. He's got access to this new library of films that will allow him to discover that there are other versions of realities out there. But most importantly, he would come to realize that there are realities out there in which the Allies won World War II. Number 4. He'll come to understand the meaning of those films once he's introduced to this concept of interdimensional travel across realities. But in order to predict the kind of reaction John Smith is going to have to all of this, we've got to ask ourselves a couple of questions. For starters, why did Hitler collect these films? I know he did state that he got a lot out of them, that every time he watched one of them, he sorta of learned something new. But was that really all there was to keeping this collection? I'd personally say no, that was not the only reason. He was not just collecting them for the sake of the learning experience, but he was also hiding them. Just imagine if all these films were a matter of public knowledge. Imagine that an entire world ruled by racism, fear and fascism got to find out that there are other realities out there and that in some of them things were actually better for them. What do you think the reaction would be? I'd say at least there is a full on rebellion. These films would basically give them the hope that a better life was possible. And John Smith is no different really than the rest of the herd. The change he's undergone from John Smith, a US soldier in World War II, to Ubergruppenführer Smith in service of the Nazi Empire was nothing but a product of the same fear that looms over everyone. In his case the fear was for the welfare of his family, which is now gonna be in question. 
with the damage hitting right at home, with Thomas being in Nazi custody, possibly heading for some sort of extermination, I'd say John will find both the hope and the courage he needs to go back to his roots. Now I'm definitely not saying if that were to be the case that he would be switching right away, I think it's going to take some time. First off he's gonna find out about the films, then he's gonna find out about the travelers, and finally he'll come to find out that something has happened to Thomas, and each step of the way he's gonna be in some sort of shock. He's still a smart man though, so he probably won't react right away, but would rather take a sweet time making a decision and getting to have a change of heart. But regardless of theories and speculations, it seems pretty clear the show is going to be making an expansion on the traveling concept. A whole lot of fans have been trying to make sense out of the interdimensional traveling thing, making a science out of it, I Ching and whatnot. Now while this is not really the core objective of the show, I think we'll be getting a definitive answer to this question from the Nazi scientists come season 3. But for now, let me know in the comments what you thought of the released sneak peek for The Man in the High Castle season 3, what do you think Smith's reaction is going to be to everything he ends up uncovering as the season starts. And of course you gotta tell me if you're all hyped for the third season. Personally I'm very excited and can't wait for it to be released. But do let me know as well if you like the content of this video by slapping it a much appreciated like. And remember to subscribe and enable notifications for more of my upcoming The Man in the High Castle content. And of course until I see you next time, thank you all for watching and have a good one.